So why is cryptocurrency so hot right now? The number one reason is because it is so exciting and dramatic. With cryptocurrencies, you get enormous highs in value. Okay, so a cryptocurrency can literally explode overnight in value. It can go up about 100 points from the previous day. It's incredible. But there are also falls in value. And you're essentially playing a game. You're playing a game to the extent that you don't necessarily have certainty into what's going to rise and what's going to fall what the conditions are or factors are, the external factors that govern the value of a cryptocurrency. You don't know what people are going to hear and what fear is going to be in the market or what greed is going to be in the market and cause the highs and lows. But what I will tell you is that the highs are exceptional and certainly exceptional to the point that you could build a retirement fund with ease. So I am going to show you an incredible example of this, okay, I'm gonna show you an incredible example of the amazing high that you can get from a cryptocurrency. Okay, so if we just have a look at Bitcoin Plus or XBC, as this is called by its three letter acronym, okay, this is its all time kind of look, okay, this is how the value of Bitcoin Plus has changed over time. And obviously, the higher it is, the better it is, the lower it is, probably the best time to invest, okay? So if we just have a look carefully, we can see that at one point, Bitcoin Plus, and this was back in September 2015, Bitcoin Plus was worth 0 0.07 of a dollar. So seven cents per Bitcoin Plus coin, all right? Now, if you had invested a thousand dollars at this point, let me show you what you would have made a year and a half later. So basically in September, a Bitcoin Plus was worth seven cents. Now, if we go and fast forward to March 2017, which is literally a year and a half later, it is now worth $77. $77, from $0.07 cents to $77. What is that gain? It's basically gone up in value by a thousand, all right? So if you had put a thousand dollars into Bitcoin Plus back when it was $0.07, cents, then that value would be now worth a million dollars, okay? Over a year and a half, you've made a million dollars. Is that not incredible? Now, you never know what way a coin is going to go. You just don't, okay? That's something that's very difficult to predict. Unless you're somebody with amazing insight or insider knowledge, there's no way you could possibly know that one of these altcoins were going to go up by such an extreme amount. And that is what the great thing is about cryptocurrency. It's the volatility. It's the fact that the value of something can dramatically increase by a thousand times. And as I said, you could be a millionaire simply off this one trade, okay? Now it's since gone down, if we have a look at the value, well actually it's worth $79, okay, at the moment, all right? So it's, it's since gone down, but then it went back up again. All right, so essentially, if you play the long game with some of these cryptocurrencies, you can make such incredible gains on your investment. Imagine investing a thousand and it turned into a million. Incredible. So the main reason why cryptocurrencies are so super popular right now is because you can make an incredible amount of money in a short space of time. And I'm going to be telling you some more success stories very shortly. Influence is another reason why cryptocurrencies are so exciting, okay? And also why you can control the destiny of the coins that you have invested in. All right, influence. You have influence and you can increase the demand of your coin. Okay, so I've got a friend and he invested in a coin very early on. And then what he did was he went on YouTube. He put a lot of money in ads to get lots of people in the cryptocurrency community seeing these videos. And the value of that coin went up by 10 times. 
Okay, so he went from 10,000 invested to 100,000 in literally five months because of his ability to influence it. Now, if you're a person who has maybe invested in stocks and shares, you know, the traditional ones that you, you read FTSE 100 or whatever, or the Dow Jones, if you invest in these, the movement can happen, but it's much smaller, okay? It's much smaller, and you have much less control. What controls the value of stocks and shares are the market and the external factors. You have no hand in it. Okay, you have a hand to an extent that if all of a sudden a stock is falling off a cliff and you're one of the people that sells their stock, yeah, you contribute to its sudden drop in value. Okay, but with cryptocurrencies, you have a greater driving seat with influence. You are able to influence the demand of your coin by getting out there and spreading the word about it. By getting out there and saying, yes, this is a hot currency and this is why. Speculative value and demand. Okay, so what I mean by that is if you see a cryptocurrency suddenly rising, people think, oh my god, I've got to get some of that stock and what they do is is that they suddenly buy those coins so looking at poloniex right now zcash has all of a sudden jumped to 173 plus 182 it is jumping like anything okay this is speculative demand people are thinking the value is going up because people are buying it right now and so as a result, people are just trying to cash in. People are trying to make the most of this currency while it's so hot. And I mean, if we click on Zcash, its current value is 0.14 of a Bitcoin to buy one Zcash, okay? But look at this. Literally this morning, it's May the 22nd, this morning at 8 a.m., the value was 0.05. And literally in the course of a couple of hours, it has gone up to 0.145, just like that. That is speculative value, okay? People have suddenly seen, oh my God, look at it rising. And then all of a sudden, vroom, loads of people buy. Then vroom, loads of other people buy. And it causes a massive shift in value. And then people are thinking, oh, it's still time, there's still time to go into it, and so more people buy, and it inflates the price, the perceived value, the speculative value, sky high, okay? So speculative value is so exciting because if you buy a coin, let's say I bought Bitmark right now, it's at plus 5.69, and that is its 24-hour change, so it's plus 5 points or plus 5% more value than it was this time yesterday. Now, if I bought at this point, and then all of a sudden, loads of people started buying, this could go from plus five to plus 60 in literally no time because of the speculative value. So speculative value plays a big part in the excitement and the hotness of cryptocurrencies. And also it's the demand. The more people are buying, the more the demand increases for that coin. And that allows you, let's say for instance, you bought some Zcash, all right? Let's say you bought it today and you really want to, I suppose, capitalize on the demand. You go on YouTube and you say, what's happening right now? Why is Zcash so hot today? Right, and you put a video out there and you tell people, why is Zcash so hot today? And all of a sudden, people will see it because people will look at Poloniex, they will see that it's gone right up and they'll go on YouTube and they'll say, why has the value gone up? They'll put Zcash on the search and it will bring up your video. And on that video, you'll be saying, this is why you should buy Zcash right now. Increases the demand, it increases the value. And that's why it's so hot because you've got such influence over the price. Perceived market conditions, okay? Because cryptocurrencies are digital, there are a lot of digital factors that can increase the value of a cryptocurrency. So I'm gonna give you an example right now. Digibyte, okay? Now at the moment, it's quite low, it's at 589. Look how much has gone up and down, okay? Now, it went from nowhere a few days ago, okay? It was nowhere. However, 
If I just show you something, if I just bring up Google and I just put Digibyte Minecraft. Now, Minecraft is one of the top computer games on the PC. It's one of the biggest at the moment. Now, look at this, okay? It says here, Digibyte and Minecraft, there's synchronicity. Basically, you are going to be able to mine Digibyte in Minecraft. And Minecraft is essentially a computer game where you basically mine for items and then you can build certain houses and all that with all the items that you have just mined. And you're going to be able to actually mine Digibyte from Minecraft. And this was posted 10 days ago to say that the second version of Minecraft, which includes Digibyte, is going to be available in 25 days. So in 15 days from now, Digibyte is going to be available on Minecraft. And that has made the value of Digibyte really explode. Okay, so if we go back now to Digibyte, you can see at the moment it's at 589. If we have a look at this morning, it went to 786. It's at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 589. Yes, this morning, literally just a few couple of hours ago, it was at 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 786. Okay, and the reason why is because people are hearing about what's happening with Minecraft and Digibyte, and so people are buying. Some people are panic selling at the moment, which is why this has gone right down in literally the last few hours. They're panic selling. That is the time to buy. But we're going to be talking about when you start buying a bit later. But essentially, digital conditions or factors are what has made the value of Digibyte explode all of a sudden. Okay, so like I said, if we go back to here, it was virtually nowhere. It was in the 300s, okay, and then all of a sudden, boom, all of a sudden, a huge spike in interest, and that is because of the external factors. So that is an indication of how perceived market conditions can really drive up the value of a stock just like that. If there's nothing to support it, then a stock will probably remain quite stable and will probably just remain at quite a, a normal level. Okay, But when all of a sudden an external factor or a market factor influences the stock or we're talk or they're talking about a cryptocurrency all of a sudden the value spikes up so that is another reason why it's so hot because it keeps us as traders and investors it keeps us looking at the information out there on a particular cryptocurrency and it allows us if we spot these things early like i did with Digibyte. Spotting it early means you can just buy a load while it's cheap and then when all of a sudden the market conditions make the value of the stock go right up, all of a sudden all that, all those coins that you bought at a low price, you will realize the benefits from all the gains. So that's why cryptocurrencies are really hot.